So you mean you guys give me a lot of work done, right? Yeah. 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 Right. That was way more enthusiastic, yeah, than I was expecting. Really, really happy about that. Um, all right, so um, pretty typical um, meeting today. Uh, so mine is going to be pretty short again. Um, one thing I do want to get into uh, before we, before I uh, get on with the rest of the agenda, is we had uh, we were contacted by people on uh, at Castle Long Beach who um, they tried to make it they, they make it their mission to make sure that if people like want or, like organizations want their members to go somewhere and do cool stuff um, that they have the money to do so. So uh, basically, um, this or, this uh, this group of faculty members on campus heard that we're really cool. Heard that we want to go out and go to conferences and stuff like that, and uh, they uh, reached out to they reached out to me, uh, telling me that if we start like sending them proposals and stuff like that, that they can start giving out money to us up to four hundred dollars. Um, and four hundred dollars is well, you know, it's four hundred dollars. Like, that's not it's an insignificant amount of money, and it can definitely go towards travel expenses. It can go towards your tickets. Um, like, who went to Indicate over the weekend? Alone. Alone? Yeah. How long did you go? No, he was uh, Yeah, that's a really funny story that he was telling us. Uh, basically, he cornered the volunteer organizer and uh, made them, made him make him a volunteer so he could get in to some of the panels that he couldn't have looked at. So yeah, just delete that part from the video because uh, no, we don't want anybody to get in trouble. Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, but NDK was really cool. Um, did cost money though. Uh, not a whole lot, um, but you know that four hundred dollars would have come off that, paid for gas, and a really nice meal. Um, so uh, that's something that's going to be on the board. And we were going to have we were supposed to have someone come in and uh, someone from that group come in and uh, present to us today. However, they um, rescheduled, so we'll be hearing from them next Thursday instead. I know. All right, cool. So. Um, Last time we came was indicated, as most of you should know. Um, and it was so fucking cool. There were so many really awesome developers there doing a lot of really cool things. Uh, Nintendo and Sony also had a really big presence there showing off their uh, kind of indie collection. Um, and that's a really interesting thing uh, to see. Uh, it's interesting to see the big developers uh, being willing to give uh, indie developers or sorry, it's cool to see big pictures <coughs> giving indie developers a forum to uh, put their games on. Um, and that's been happening for a lot of reasons. I think that online distribution methods like Steam have been a really big uh, reason that that's been uh, going around, or that's been uh, become a bigger thing. Uh, so just kind of an interesting way that uh, indie game culture is evolving. Um, had a chance to had a chance to check out some of the uh, really cool. Games that are uh, being, uh, yeah, channel. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I uh, had a chance to check out some of the really cool games that are uh, out there. Um, and we had, uh, there are links to all these on uh, the slides. So Hive Jump is kind of like a metal slug RPG meets Android with jetpacks. It was a lot of fun. Me and Aaron Gutierrez were the first people to beat it at, uh, on the first day. So yeah, we're pretty awesome. Um, Temple of Yog, uh, kind of like, Age of Empires, but the way you get resources is basically by like a Gone with Legends kind of gameplay, which is really cool. Um, Emily's away. Uh, Emily's here. Anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, relive late 90s social awkwardness uh, through AOL and Messenger. But it's a lot of fun, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Dark Echo, um, you kind of like, your character is just like footsteps, basically. And you're a child. What? Oh, that's the way they're doing it. If you have an um, Android phone, that they were giving that one away for free on the yeah. Amazon App Store. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a really fun game, um, by the way. So, uh, definitely, I really should check out all of these. These are all really inventive, uh, really fun games. Also, also uh, Gathering Sky was this very cool. Um, if you guys know the game Loneliness, um, it's uh, this game that I always talk about. Um, it was made by some. Uh, Korean uh, middle school students. Um, anyway, uh, Gathering Sky and Loneliness have a lot of kind of similarities there, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and we talked to all of these developers, and all of them seemed really interested in what VGA is doing. Unfortunately, like none of them are in the area, 
so they probably won't be able to come down and talk in person. Although um, the guy who did the sound for uh, Gathering Sky is in the area, and he's actually from Castle Long Beach originally, I think. So uh, he said that he'd be willing to come down and talk to us, so we might have a, a sound person finally come down and uh, show us their knowledge of the craft. Um, but all these people said they'd be willing to um, like video conference in and give us a talk that way. Uh, people from New York, San Francisco, Florida, uh, all over the place. So that was a lot of fun. Um, additionally, we talked to uh, representatives from Unreal and Sony. And basically, everyone who we told about, everyone who we talked to, uh, talk, everyone we talked to about VGDA thought what we were doing is really cool. We showed, um, or I showed them uh, some of the screenshots from our game, and they were really psyched about it. Really, really amazed that we were working with the size of people that we are working with. So good on you guys for not just being crushed by everything. Um, another cool thing that's going on is there's this group called the IGZA. Yes, they still learn it. Um, so uh, IGDA is kind of um, a trade guild in a way. Uh, they're kind of, in, in, in some ways, they're the same thing that the game industry has to having a uni union. Uh, but they're also a really good uh, resource for game developers to network, all that good stuff. Um, so they are doing a uh, offering a scholarship to get a free um, full access pass to uh, the Game Developers Conference. The uh, Game Developers Conference is probably one of the biggest game developer events in the world. Um, this one is being held uh, March 14th through 18th. Um, and the requirements are here. Uh, so you have to be a full-time student or a student who has graduated no longer than six months uh, prior, to, prior to the event. You have to be 18 year older. Sorry, Peter. Um, so uh, you must. 18. Must, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> so uh, you must be a member of good standing. Um, there's a link to sign up. Costs 30 bucks. Not expensive at all. It's also uh, just 30 bucks. Also gets you a lot of things outside of just being eligible for the scholarship. Um, and then you write a paper explaining why being able to go to GDC will accomplish your educational goals. And the essay is due December 15th. So right around the finals. Um, um, so, Logos, we're uh, getting down to the last hour, um, hour and 15 minutes until uh, we're going to close off the voting for our Logos. Um, and if you haven't seen the Logos yet, um, this is them. Um, oh god, where'd go? You close it. Shut up. I don't know who that was, but either way, sorry. Don't worry, I'm just a little. Okay, um, and you can go to this link to vote on them. Oh god, so many chats. Um, yeah, so you can, go, you can follow that link on the slide to finish voting. It's also pinned to the top of our Facebook page. So, um, it's also been at the top of our Facebook page, so if you want to vote now, if you haven't voted yet, please go on and vote. Um, and we're going to be closing that off at 5.30 so that by the end of the meeting, we all have our logo cover. Um, and then, once we're done with the voting for our logo, um, that's going to mean that we kind of have to change a couple of our t-shirt submissions, uh, because they kind of require having our club logo on it, makes sense. Um, and once, but once that's been done and taken care of, then the t-shirts with designs will be going up on our Facebook page as well. Similar format, <coughs> Facebook poll, um, and then you'll have a couple of days to vote on those. And then next Thursday, we'll be starting putting in orders for those. So uh, just if you want to share, well, you know, just let us know and we'll, we'll put an order in for you. Um, right. So, uh, so um, as some of you guys know, uh, our key goal here, or our core goal in VGA, is to get y'all jobs. We don't want any homeless people. Um, so, well, not, yeah, unless you want to, I guess. That's, you don't need that. Anyway, so um, 
It, there's some internships. There's, uh, there's this thing called Orca HQ dot something something something. Anyway, uh, link to it is here. It's like Craigslist for game developer jobs. I I go on there literally every day. Um, and so here are a couple positions that I saw that look interesting, mostly because the uh, requirements for them are not very high. Um, so anyone can apply. Uh, and I really encourage as many people to apply as possible because. Even if you don't get in, even if you don't get the position, um, if they all of a sudden start getting like 20 applications for Google and referencing the experience they've been getting in VGDA, uh, they might start taking an interest. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, and the Blizzard internships went up. And the... When did they do? They are due on December 31st, right? Or January 31st. Oh. Yeah. Um, they're super competitive. So, yeah. uh, uh, so a bunch of us applied last year, and we got a hilarious tweet uh, a few days after we applied, saying something along the lines of, "We want to thank everyone for all of the enthusiasm uh, in applying to Blizzard internships. We just want to let everyone know that it is going to take us a little while to get through the 14,500 applications that we got for our positions. So they're very competitive, <laughs> but I urge every single one of you to apply to them because." I mean, why not, first of all? Uh, and also, you have about uh, two months to, sorry, three months, to really make a resume and portfolio that's going to be spectacular. And by the end of, by January 31st, you will, even if you've only been in the club for one semester, you will have a game, a game credit for Parasomnia, or whatever call it game memes. Um, You'll have a game yeah. for Parasomnia, uh, and whatever work you've been doing for school, plus for, uh, next semester in BGA. Um, so, but here are some uh, various internship positions. So we have college outreach intern. Uh, the, this is someone whose uh, job it is to build connections between Riot and the universities. So that's basically you having an internship that is you networking with people, which sounds pretty great. I don't know why I put it up here. Um, audio software engineer intern at Infinity Ward. Um, you know, give the audio people some love because we usually post things that aren't that. So yeah. Um, and then uh, social media intern at Ludomade, which I thought was hilarious because it's basically like, are you an expert in Facebook? If so, you'd be great for this job. And I was like, well, that could be some of them. Hey, Nathan, can you yeah. pop up in the middle one just to show people what some of the requirements might look like? Must have 10 years of experience. <laughs> Okay, so so job requirements. Uh, student currently enrolled in an accredited college or university working towards a BS or BA degree, uh, willing to relocate for oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that that like summer size? Like no, not six months. Huh? All right, so this is not quite as suitable to you guys as I thought it was. <laughs>
uh, the creative director on Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. So you can ask him why the first and Infinite are so great. Maybe you can ask him some other questions about 2. Um, <laughs> 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 Maybe to leave that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I love that game. Hey, Peter. Why would you design it this way? <laughs> because we 
want to make it creepy. Well, this was just submitted as well. Looks like some stacks of shoes. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, it's just a
see if we can have similar voices um, tying the stories together. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be really cool. So we have a spreadsheet of sorts. This is kind of, um, we have a lot more than this, but we've kind of been putting people's items and the stuff they wrote in this grid. Um, so you can have, we're kind of, so we're telling kind of a story of like the parents' difference to the kids and like building that up through the three levels and then kind of the brother's caring but also the brother's struggle and like the kids, like his mental issue before, before his brother dies and like an after. So we're kind of building up this really cool narrative with it. And I'm really excited. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so most of what we're doing this week is now that we have this kind of structure, we're going to take what people have done um, with their items from last week and kind of revise them a little bit to have them fit better with everyone else's. Um, it's also been brought to our attention at the exec board that like we had the tutorial all planned out, but and Tech is building it, but we haven't written a doc for it yet. We just kind of told them what to do and they did it, and that's bad. So we're gonna be catching up on stuff like that. And of course, always play testing. Cool. Comments? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
We will not Don't be stopped by you until like, you fix it. That shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Have you met this man? Fucking magic. I so like this one. Look at all the clocks. Salvador Dali would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs>
obvious what that meant. Come on. He's nothing. All right. Uh, and <laughs> Danley. Wait. So how do I spell your name? Is the E before the Y? <laughs> you misspelled you mis his first name. <laughs> no. Look at the smile. Look, I had three materials on my head. Monday. Monday. <laughs> get it. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So let's give these guys a big round of applause. So, the one thing that we wanted to change um, was in order to uh, increase communication between the various teams, um, once your team lead has, like, once you guys have gone through scrums, once your team lead has assigned tasks and whatnot, um, go find people who are working on the same thing that you were working on within the other teams. So, if you're working on various parts of, like, the monster mechanics programming, Go find the content people and interrupt their conversation about what are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? We're actually we're on track. Okay, alright. Well I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, go find content people, go find your people that are working on the same thing. Uh like Andrew. Um, because he's the only side person here. Uh, and uh, just talk to each other about what you're working on. Make sure you're all on track, and if you need help finding those people, you can come to me or any of the executives uh, about that. And we'll help them down. Yeah, we'll help them down for you. So, I think with that, we're all done. Great. Oh, what? Is that thing? what? <laughs>